Hello, hello, this is Logan Wells again with Dream Guitars, and I'm visiting today with a 2021 RJN3 from our own Thomas Ryan. Um, Mr. Ryan builds a wide range of instruments and he does so very well. He's one of the few builders who makes classical instruments um, just as well as he makes steel string guitars. And I feel like that contributes to his ability to voice steel strings to be as sensitive and responsive um, as a good classical should be. And that is definitely the case here. This is a, a lovely instrument. Um, I've really enjoyed playing this thing in standard. Um, I currently have it in D major at the moment. Um, there's a kind of velvetiness and smoothness to the voice that is just delectable. Um, Chocolatey is another way to describe it, or at least a way that I would describe it. Um, and part of that is that sensitivity that I was just talking about, and part of it is the, the tone wood combination. On top we have Port Orford Cedar, and on the back we have Macassar Ebony, which is a very interesting combination. Um, I'm not sure of the last time I saw that particular combo. Um, and the effect here is lovely, so. Additionally, um, Tom has some pretty cool um, design features with his guitars, um, including a compensated nut here, extra wide saddle, and um, a personal favorite of mine, he has an adjustable neck angle. So with the use of a hex key, um, which comes in the case, uh, you will be able to adjust the neck up or down um, a little bit as needed to maintain that perfect setup for the life of this guitar, which is just such a lovely feature. So, you know, let's say you're in the Southeast and you suddenly travel to the, I don't know, the Northwest, um, where you have dramatically different climate all of a sudden. And guitar being made of wood does what do wood does and moves around a little bit. Um, the setup isn't exactly where you need it to be anymore. You just tweak the inside with that hex key and suddenly you've got the perfect action yet again. So you don't have to worry about neck resets with instruments like this, uh, and you don't have to worry about swapping saddles out, you know, in the winter, in the summer, or indeed having the saddle be shaved down in order to lower the action, which then makes the whole guitar, you know, quieter. Um, none of those um, problems are here, and they're not gonna be here, and that's such a sweet feature. So let's get into it. Port Orford, cedar on top. A lovely uh, light yellow set here. We have um, some burl wood for the rosette with sort of a, a rope style binding. Oh. Strings are responding to my voice. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, doing it again. Ah! Um, rope style bindings for the rosette, which is lovely. A uh, more of a traditional um, belly style bridge here with an extra wide saddle for added intonation, which is always nice. Lovely, um, gorgeous wood bindings throughout. We actually have red purflings here on the top, which is a, is a subtle dramatic flare, which I'm a fan of. We also have uh, gold Evo frets here, which I am also, also a fan of. Um, they're not as um, hard as stainless steel, so they don't impart a kind of tinniness to the voice. Um, instead, they sound you know, very similar, if not the same, as traditional nickel frets, um, with the added advantage of lasting much longer than nickel frets. And they look cool to boot, so kind of a win there. Uh, the neck is lovely in hand. It's got a, a C profile um, all day long. 25, four inch scale, one and three quarters at the compensated nut. And we have side dots at the third, fifth, seventh, ninth, and twelfth, eh, 15th, 17th, and 19th frets. So you can left hand orienteer very easily with this guitar. Flipping around, we have Delta style. Uh, Goto tuners on the back here, gold with ebonoid buttons. So these are extra precise tuners. Um, I believe the ratio is 21 to one, so you can dial these in exactly where you need it to be, um, which was very helpful uh, a few moments ago when I was putting this into that open D tuning. Uh, lovely glossy finish throughout, um, also on the neck, feels great in hand. And as we come down the neck, we come to this gorgeous set of Macassar ebony for the back and sides. Uh, Macassar Ebony is a lovely looking wood, um, and it, it imparts a glassiness um, to the voice, which um, this guitar has a fair bit in the trebles, and it's just lovely. Um, but visually, I, I love the alternating dark and light bands throughout. Um, it's just really a good looking wood. Mm. And uh, those red purplings on the top are also um, part of the side bindings and for the back as well. So here we are on the side. I'll notice through here. Uh, nice, decently low profile neck 
uh, or heel here so you can get your thumb around and you can get your fingers to those uppermost frets pretty easily, which is always nice, of course. And then, as I mentioned, uh, all you need is the hex key, just right in to here through the sound hole to adjust the action as needed, which, of course, is not something that you will need to do too often, but it's good to have in your back pocket for when you do. So this 2021 RJN3 is available for purchase. Um, Port Orford Cedar on the top, the Caster Ebony back and sides, delightful uh, adjustable neck angle system. If you are interested, please do give us a shout. Happy to talk to you about this guitar. Cheers. Mm -hmm.